Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Tiny Mac, and today we are on part four of our Sims 4 Horse Ranch Let's Play. So today I want to go over to Kara's household, which is my sim that I play personally, and I want to show you guys her horses just so you can see for breeding purposes what horses I'd be breeding them with. I'm probably going to breed Luna, if I'm going to be honest. I'm leaning more towards Luna, and I see a lot of people that want Luna and Bojack to breed, and we're definitely going to be doing that. I want Bojack to have a baby so bad, so I think Luna and Bojack would be perfect little duo. But for the moment, I think that it would be better to breed Luna with one of the champion horses, so then we can get a champion foal. That's kind of where I'm leaning with all of this. I just want to have a foal right now and since our horses aren't champions i want to see what it would be like if we just go breed with one of the other champions and then it also gives a little bit more dynamic to the let's play besides just breeding all of our horses at the farm we have one horse that is bred with another horse and then we can just have a bigger bloodline than just our horses i also think i'm going to sell boone i think a lot of the consensus said that boone just isn't worth it and he's gonna hold me back and i agree i just don't think that he's the best fool to have at the moment when we can breed with some champion horses and get some better fools that way we get better horses I, I don't know it just is the way that I'm leaning it's the name of the game it's how business rolls when you're living on a farm you trade up and trade out so that's what I'm doing oh also I added this open gate one of you geniuses commented to open this up so they're not running around the lot all the time and I can't believe I did not think of that because it's so annoying having them run all the way around just to get into this pasture when they can just you know go right here and it also extends the pasture a little bit and makes it look like it's part of the lot so thank you for commenting that you are a genius and I appreciate you so I'm just having Lydia clean up the stalls right now and then we are gonna get to work and get training and then also enter some competitions we are also gonna buy some sheep i noticed that you guys commented a lot saying that if you buy sheep you get 200 dollars when you shear their wool which i had no idea about so we are definitely doing that versus two dollars for milk i mean what an upgrade we are gonna keep bert though so don't worry he's not going anywhere and i also added a lemon tree an apple tree and then potatoes and strawberries for the nectar making so we can get some better nectar and get some different flavors once nico levels up we are actually gonna have him go craft something really quick and see if we can get another nectar have these aged at all yet oh moderately aged oh my god we can sell those for three grand okay we're doing it oh give us the money so we oh my god we are at 9k already holy cow guys we are on our way to being the best farm at chestnut ridge all right so let's go ahead and go to cars farm with lydia and show you the horses i think i already know which horse i want to breed with but we're gonna try it anyways sorry wrigley not right now we're going to breed our horse let's enter luna into a competition really quick before it closes and then we will go check out the farm tomorrow in the morning all right oh <gasps> Sweet, she has enough skill for expert. Perfect, let's go ahead and do it. Get us the dub, Luna, let's go. All right, they're gonna go off and race. We have Nico crafting nectar over here. He just reached level two, so he can now do strawberry nectar and potent potato nectar recipes. Ew, potato nectar? I think that would be the worst flavor of nectar ever that I've ever heard of in my life. All right, and then we are gonna sell Boone, so let's go ahead and do that. We will, how do we do that? Okay, sorry Boone, I love you so much, but you know what, you're off to bigger and better things. You're gonna be a champion horse. You're gonna prove me wrong that I shouldn't have sold you, okay? He's not gonna do anything. He's gonna be a pasture horse. He's not gonna be anything big. He's not gonna be a chestnut champion, that's for sure. Are you sure you wanna sell Boone? You will receive payment and this horse will leave the household. Yes. I'm so sorry, Boone. We will have a going away party for you after you're gone, okay? It will be so much fun. We'll have so many people here and you won't be here, okay? Horse sold. Boone has been sold and payment was received in the household fund. Selling horses is a lucrative business. See? I told you. It's a lucrative business, you guys. They even say so themselves. Where success is determined by caliber of the horses that are sold. A horse's simoleon value is determined by their skill level, competition performance, quality of care, and age. If a horse has champion genes, they will also sell for more, more simoleons. All right, now we only have four horses. Oh, gold medal. Perfect. Okay, now she can enter a master competition. Perfect. We just got to train her up a little bit more. Ooh, we should probably train her before she has a baby, huh? What should we do? What should we do? Now we're gonna breed her and then we'll just focus on Onyx with the barrel racing and Bojack with Western Pleasure. And then we will continue Luna once she's done breeding. Okay, cool. 
Oh, but then doesn't she get the champion horse? <gasps> oh, but then she would get the champion horse gene if she enters the master and wins it. New plan, new plan. We're gonna have her get the champion horse gene and then we'll just breed her and Bojack. Yeah, because I want a champion horse and I think that that will be the best way to go about it. All right, so we're just gonna have Lydia sleep really quick. You will go downstairs. Are you in a good mood? Maybe you can go train. Oh, let's have you go train Luna. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, never mind. Let's just have you go to bed and we'll just have you both get a good night's rest and then we will wake up in the morning and start training and competing. Oh, let's get our sheep really quick too. All right, buy a mini sheep and goat. $2,000? Does he get us really good wool if we buy him? I mean, we have the fun, but we should probably be smart with our money and not just spend it all right away. Um, let's get, ooh, they're all kind of ugly colors. <laughs> Let's get a brown one. Oh, they have a Dalmatian. Let's get the Dalmatian. We'll get two for right now. Cool. Oh, let's go place them in our world. Once he gets up, we're gonna have him go place those. All right, Nico is all fully rested, so we're gonna get his needs up really quick. Oh, don't place them inside, you stupid. We're gonna just go put them in our inventory really quick and then go put them outside. I don't know why you thought putting them inside in your bedroom would be smart. Are you hoarding the sheep? No, you're not. And then we'll also have you get some leftovers as well. Here are our sheeps. Give me names for our sheeps. I want them good, okay? I want creative good names for our sheeps, like Bert. That's very creative and super original, okay? And then we can shear them and get money. It's like 400 bucks standing around. Oh, $30? What? You guys lied to me. It's not stellar money, but you know what? Maybe we work their way up and then they give us $200? I don't really know. Or maybe it's that- Oh, I guarantee it's that black sheep. Hmm. Well, should have gotten it. And then we're gonna have Nico go train. Let's have him train Onyx for a little bit. And then we will work on Bojack afterwards. What are all their skills at right now? His agility is six, almost level seven. So if we can get him to seven, we can compete in expert. And then he, he is level five on temperament. Oh, actually we should work on Bojack. Let's have Onyx go train independently. And then we're gonna go work on Bojack's temperament for a little bit because he needs to level that up. I don't think he's won us anything, has he? Yeah, he's only a silver metal horse and wit. That doesn't do for the chestnut champions, okay? Oh, you're silver medal too. You guys, these were $3,000 though. That's pretty solid, Onyx. You're getting up there. Arvana's worth 2,000. She is a bronze. Is Luna our only gold medal horse? She is, and she's worth 4K. Perfect. So let's just have you go work. Oh, after you're done sheeping. <laughs> sheeping? After <laughs> after you're done sheeping. Um, No, we're gonna have you go after you're done she Oh my God. I still can't say it. Shearing the wool. Lydia, how are you doing? Oh, you're fully rested. Let's get you up. And we will have her go train on... Oh, actually, let's have her go independently train Luna while she takes Arvana on a run. Get all of their skills up a little bit. And then we're going to breed Luna once she is a champion. We got lots of work to do. And then we're going to hire a ranch hand too because now we're making good money. And we should be good on that. I don't think we're going to have trouble making bills anymore, but we'll see. Well, let's brush his coat a little bit. Get him nice and cleaned up. Direct horse to go train on the advanced. And then let's go tack up Loon or Arvana really quick. We'll breed Arvana next once she's a champion horse. And maybe we'll have her and Onyx breed together and see what kind of babies they create. All right, he's reached level six. You will now be able to seek emotional support with Bojack, which will help Sims recover from being sad more quickly. And then once Bojack's completely trained in the temperament, we'll get him going in the agility so we can have him be a little bit more diverse. And then we'll have you go ahead and mount up Arvana and go for a nice little run. Competitions are almost open, so we're gonna have Nico finish up all of this with Bojack, and then we're gonna go enter him into a competition. Okay, Luna's done. She messed up. Trash. Cool, they just got done on their run. What is Arvana's endurance skill? Six. We need to get her temperament up too. She's only at temperament three. What is Luna at? Five. It's pretty solid. And then Onyx is at four. Okay, not too bad. Arvana definitely needs some training though with that. So we're gonna get that. But let's have Luna go enter, or no, let's have them go train really quick while we enter Bojack and Nico into a competition. Cool, look at us. We are doing the dang thing, you guys. All right, Western Pleasure with Bojack. Oh, he's so close, but we need him to get gold. So we're gonna go on to the intermediate for right now until he gets the gold medal and then we'll go to expert. Bronze medal again, Bojack, what is going on? You need to be a star horse. What is going on with you, sir? Why are you not getting the gold? Everyone else has an easy time. Actually, no, they don't. Everyone has bronze. 
<laughs> Silver. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. He's like, I know. I fucked up, okay? I messed up. I'm not doing good. I'm like, you're still a good horse, but, you know, you need to do better. We'll have to sell you if you're not doing good, Bojack. So maybe that will be food for thought, okay? Maybe that will get you in gear and make you perform better. You know what? Now that I think about it, maybe we'll just have her breed with one of the champions, and then once she becomes a champion we'll go ahead and breed her with Bojack. We're gonna do that because I feel like it might take a couple episodes to get her up to a champion horse and I don't wanna wait any longer. Why are you stressed? Mm, what is your Western pleasure at? Five? Oh, maybe you can get a gold for us. Her endurance is one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Western pleasure and see if she can get us a gold. After we race all of our, oh, Bills already came in again? Oh man. Uh, pay Bills, 5,100 now. Guys, we need to shut off our lights. We cannot have lights on at this moment in time, okay? We are not rich enough for that. We are still balling on some sort of budget, okay? Did not- what it- what is going on with our horses right now? You guys, we need champions. You guys are not breeding champions. You go use this outside bathroom. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the farm and see if we can have Luna and one of Car's horses breed. I think I already know which horse I want to breed. So we're just gonna go ahead and get it done. Get the deed done and get Luna pregnant, please. All right, let's go. We are at the farm. Um, here are all of the horses. There's like eight horses here right now. We have over here Big Red. Big Red is a stallion. He is worth, I mean, they're all worth relatively a lot. Let's see what they're worth. So War is worth 13,000. He's a champion, uh, I think, jumping horse. Big Red is also a champion, champion jumping horse and an endurance horse, and he's worth 10,000. And then we got Captain over here, who is our star bear racing horse, and he's worth 12,000. So I think I want Luna and Captain to breed together. Oh, but Big Red would be fun to breed too. Should we do Captain or Big Red? Big Red is a playoff secretary at the racehorse, by the way. If you didn't get that reference, that is what they call secretariat. So he is technically the secretary of Sims 4. Look at him running around. He's a racehorse at heart. I think we. I think I want to do Luna and Captain. I feel like they would make a cute baby. So let's go ahead. Can we encourage? No, wake up. Cute. Yeah, because if we can have a horse that looks like Captain, that would be really nice. But also if we could have a horse that looks like Big Red. Oh, where's Big Red? Where are you? Oh yeah, this is Cars Farm, by the way. <laughs> I forget you guys haven't been here. So we have a little rescue slash breeding pen over here. This is the jumping course. We got a greenhouse little stable area, the barrel racing over there. And then this is Barbaro. This is um, a mare though, so we can't breed with her. And then the house, let me let me go unlock the house so I can show you guys. I mean, maybe we could come back and breed B Big Red too because Big Red would be a fun one to breed. There's a little nectar room over here. She makes quality nectar, I'm very proud of her. And then this is the house. Just a cute little house, nothing crazy. I do have a little kid's bedroom because she is gonna have kids at some point. <gasps> They're going to breed. Have our babies. Oh my gosh, look at them go. You guys are gonna make such a cute foal. Captain, you can come over whenever and see your baby. We are gonna take him home with us, but you can come over whenever and come see your baby. Okay, Captain? Captain that! And then Big Red maybe we'll breed next time as well because it would be fun to have a chestnut horse. Okay, let's just go home now. All right, we are back at the farm. Hopefully Luna's all impregnated and about to have a baby for us. Let's have Lydia just get her needs up. She's just gonna go do her own thing. We'll work on Nico really quick. Let's have him go craft some nectar really quick. Oh, um, well, maybe not because we don't have ingredients. Let's have him go work on Bojack's temper then. Good job, Bojack. You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. Oh my God. Did you see that? She's like, what? See what? <laughs> see what? I didn't see anything. She just piss out her butt. <laughs> that was so weird. Is that how females pee? I don't know. I saw the boys pee, you know, where they're supposed to. So maybe that's just a girl thing. <laughs> By the way, this updated version of my barn is up on my gallery. You can find it at Tiny Mac Plays on the gallery. That is my name. But yeah, I did upload this so you guys can go use it. I saw a couple comments asking if it is up on the gallery yet and it is. So you go ahead and download it and have fun. <gasps> expecting a full congratulations. Luna is expecting there are going to be new little hooves prancing around the household sometime soon. <gasps> How exciting. She's gonna have a baby. Yes! Reach temperament level seven. Sims will now be able to ask about dealing with Sims with Bojack, which will improve the Sims charisma skill gain for a, for a time. Also, Bojack is even less likely to buck when being ridden. 
perfect let's have you come eat really quick get you guys some good meals you guys can talk to each other a little bit that <laughs> should we complain about the dish nico this is ass oh yeah and i forget we have sheep too so we got to take care of them because i suck at taking care of the mini animals when you have four horses the mini animals kind of become you know less of a priority that dalmatian sheep though is really cute i'm really happy we got him cutie just go ahead and get you mounted and then let's go for an intense ride we'll put all these sloop 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 so can we craft nectar now <gasps> strawberry nectar let's go ahead and make that look at him stomping away he's like i gotta get this money i gotta get this money Ooh, doo, doo. the farm is doing well guys we're doing a great job at maintaining this bad boy right now i'm very impressed with us with no ranch hand look at us just doing all the farm chores okay you guys oh she just leveled up perfect oh races have opened so let's go ahead and race arvana enter competition endurance oh, arvana's in a good mood perfect let's see if we can go for expert and get a gold and then Nico, we're gonna have you tack up Bojack too and take him in. So now let's have you go enter a competition. Western pleasure with Bojack. Oh, when he's in a good mood. Perfect. Come on, guys, get us gold. Did not place? What it is there a glitch going on? I feel like there's no way she would not have placed when she's in a good mood and she has the level. You guys, we are not making money right now. We were doing so good, and then now here we are. I knew I would eat those words from part three. She's really tired. Oh my gosh, we gotta put her to bed. Okay, after Nico finishes this competition, we'll enter Onyx really quick, see if he can place and at least get us some money, and then we will go. Oh, maybe that's why they're not placing us, because my Sims are in a good mood. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Go take a nap, and then we'll race Onyx once you're a little bit more rested. Oh, yes, did not place. I have a feeling it's my Sims man oh man we still have plenty of time to get money in this let's play okay i'm not too worried about it we're gonna have a champion horse here soon we'll be fine and then next episode we're gonna have the full and then we're gonna have a ranch event because now we have multiple animals hopefully we get some good prizes and money from that and i think we're gonna have lydia go on a date with wrigley as well and then see if we can get her and wrigley into a better relationship maybe they can start dating so we'll go on a date next episode with wrigley we do have harvest festival coming up though i do want to have a harvest festival holiday and have people out at the farm and just enjoy time with the family because we do have a big family we gotta nurture and take care of um what do you see he is an barrel racer he's sleeping right now let's do expert and see if we can play Victory! Silver medal. We'll take that. All right. Whatever our horse is worth now. Arvana is worth 2,500. Onyx is worth 3,300. Luna is still 4,000. And then Bojack. Ugh, Bojack. You're not doing too hot right now. Okay, I think that'll be it for this episode. We're gonna call it good. I will see you guys in part five. Hopefully we have a full by then or at least close to having a new full. And then we'll also throw a ranch event and then do some more fun stuff. Maybe we'll go out on the town and go have a little night out with Nico and Lydia. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Thank you so much. If you are enjoying this series, if you could please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support a lot more than you think. And I appreciate all of the love and support I've been getting so far. It really means so much and it inspires me to keep creating these videos for you guys so if you are enjoying this series a like on this video can make a big difference and let me know that you are enjoying it and i will see you guys for part five peace